Good afternoon and welcome once again <laughs> to another episode of How the World Turns. No, uh, welcome to my daily chat. My name, well, no, before I start, let me introduce this is episode number 581. The topic today is 2019, the year of the women? Question mark. Before I jump into that and explain before you jump on my um, title, let me uh, introduce myself first. I'll explain what I mean and hopefully you'll be in agreement, perhaps, or at least in conversation with me. So, before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful, and high achieving women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And that's what inspired these talks starting right after the election, two and something years, two and something months ago, two years and something months ago. December? It was December, so just over two years ago, called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today's topic, is, or I should say today's episode is number 581, as I've done a bunch of these over the last couple of years, and every day now for the last year and seven or eight months. The topic today is inspired by the news, and I want to speak to this because it's going to be a lot, so there's going to be a conversation this year. So the topic again is um, 2019, the year of the women, question mark. And I'm saying that way intentionally because I want to, I want to invite you to consider some things. First of all, some things, I, some items, not things, items I saw in the news today that were very evocative. Obviously, the biggest one is the um, induction or the, um, what's the word they call it, enrollment? No. But the induction of the women, actually the induction of the new class into the uh, into Congress, that was a massive majority of women in the incoming class, which is awesome. It's amazing. It's wonderful. However, I have to say this this way. It's wonderful to see, but 99% of those are on the sitting on the left side of the house. There's less Republican women in the house than there were before. And it went down from like 16 down to 12 or something like that, or 13 down to 10, something like that. The bottom line is that it isn't all rosy yet. So that's one thing I want to put on the agenda. Second thing is, um, you may see on the news today as well, that something like five plus million women in India created a chain, a line or a wall of women over six kilometers long through this state in India to protest um, equal rights, or should say protest for equal rights, particularly because there were this forbidden entry to this um, very ancient um, um, holy temple that these women, basically two women walked into after the law said they could, and there was a riot and all sorts of stuff happened. So these women are standing up for that right, which is powerful as well. Again, the women are in movement. The third um, news article from today, what I saw was in, I think it was in Houston, that 17 new plus two existing female African-American judges were, in, were elected or were installed, that's probably the best word, installed I think is the right word, which is amazing too. In a particularly, what's very, been known for a long time as a very conservative state and a conservative city, to have that many African-American female judges in place is a seed change, uh, sorry, a C change, not seed, but S-E-A change, C change, that says in a momentous change. I think it's a valid word, statement. So this is all good news, and yet, which is why I have a question mark on this. And yet, this is only <laughs> this is only January third. I think it January third. Yes, January third. Just checking my calendar because I'm like, is it the third already? I know we're just getting started, but I want to speak to this topic from a, as you may have guessed, a masculine point of view, but also as a way of encouragement. Because what I what I I hate to think what happen is now with all these big things happening, women go, okay, we're good. Now we're gonna relax. Don't please don't. This is just a, this is the beginning of a change. This is the first wave of a shift that's been long a long time coming. But it's not the last unless you don't continue the work. And what I'm speaking to here more than anything else is encouraging ladies who are watching this and women who may be considering to do some changes, be in, maybe in their business or maybe they want to run into politics themselves or maybe they can do a social change. Something that's going to change the culture. Whatever that is you got brewing, keep going. There's such a shift coming, a shift happening, 
and I know we did more talks about this through this year. This this actually, in one way, is the reason I started doing these talks back in 2016. These talks were inspired. I actually and I and I did actually post one today that was in that same theme. My initial title of these talks wasn't "Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart." I went back and edited those, or should say, added the titles. What they were, and it's in the title, and it's in when I said the talks. I call them permission granted. And I'm going to say this now because I need to own up to it, is back then in my naivety, I felt like there was such a need for women to be honored, respected and stepping up, especially after the election in 2016, that I felt like I needed as a man to say, if nobody else is saying this to you, ladies, I'm saying permission granted. And it was a very naive thing to say, let's be honest about that. And it also was a very... um, it was it was a, it was intentionally heart based. I wanted to say this from my heart to say, ladies, not all men are against you, because what it felt like was happening in the, in the news and in the media back then, and in the politics, it seemed like there was a big shift away from sporting women, and it was pissing me off because I don't stand in that court. My focus is sporting women in my work and in my coaching and my speaking. So when I started doing my talks back in 2016 December, I think the first one was so. I now posted the replay of my fifth one today, so that was you know once a week. I started talking about permission granted as a theme because I felt like I needed to say, as a man, I'm standing up with you. As a man, I'm saying, yes, please, step forward, step up, stand in that place, own your space, be in authority as a woman to change the way we live in this world. I got a lot of feedback about those titles. I heard from several women who didn't know me at the time. Um, I don't think they know me still. But they were very upset with me for using that term permission granted. Like, who was I to give them permission? So they missed the point of the title. The title was literally permission granted, meaning that to hear it from any man, just so you, just in case you needed to hear it from any man, I was saying it. If you didn't hear it from your dad, your brother, your husband, your boyfriend, your boss, or any of those men, then consider this that space being filled by permission. But because of that feedback, I changed the title, which is now why I have the title I have now, which has been going for a couple of years, which is Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart, because that's the truth. (laughs) This is Messages from me as a masculine man, and from masculine heart to inspire your feminine heart to awaken, to be strong, to be free. And with what happened today, I'm in great um, appreciation and applause for what's happened. And again, I have a caveat or a question mark or a a concern, which is we ain't done yet. This is the beginning of something massive and there's a lot more to do yet, as is pretty obvious. But there may be a temptation on some people's parts, I don't want to say women, but people's parts to say, let's put the foot off the gas now. We're okay. We're cruising. Not the time to rest. This is the time to step forward even more so because there's momentum building. It isn't built yet completely. It's not done yet. There's room now for more and more women to step up and men who support women to step up and keep the momentum growing and building and going. Because we're not done yet. This is only the the 3rd of January and look what's happened already. These three big events have happened all on the same day. Now some of them were planned, some were more immediate. But this is all reminders of the change that's coming. And I don't think it's actually here fully yet. These are signposts, these are indicators, these are cracks in the in the structure to show it's already happening but i want to say this really clearly we ain't there yet there's much more to do still there's laws to be changed there's structures to be organized there's um imbalances to be corrected and i'm passionate as you can tell to speak more about this and to support women in their calling and in their speaking their truth i mentioned in my news intentions three days ago two two days ago whenever it was (laughs) <laughs> it's been a blur that my intention this year and my calling this year is to speak on stages in front of large audiences of women and this is part of that as an encouragement as a reminder as a voice to speak up from a male heart a masculine heart to say to women yes please we need you we want you we support you in stepping into your truth and I may be in the minority doing this but I've been in the minority for the last 580 plus broadcasts talking about this stuff in different ways. So this is my declaration, excuse me, not declaration, declaration. (laughs) This is my declaration, my intention, my, my stand, 
with and for women in empowered feminine leadership, in honoring and respecting each other, and in being powerful leaders from a feminine place to support that planet and where it needs to go to recover from what's been done to it over the last 100 plus years by people who didn't know better. So with that, um, this is not really a, um, what's what we're looking for? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm making this, it sounds profound in way of saying it, or it feels like maybe it's just found it's like that in here, maybe you're not getting it that way. But I'm feeling that I need to say this out loud and say it as declaration because it feels like it's time for everybody who's willing to say yes to this to step up and be counted. So for me personally, I'm being visible, being public and being clear about this that ladies, please don't stop believing. Like that song just came that song just came in my head. <laughs> but keep moving forward. Keep taking action and if you need support guidance, counsel from a masculine place. That's my work as well. Um, I get to this point in the broadcast and I was going to say I want to put some links in the comments, so I'm going to put two in there. One of which is a feminine leadership link that I put, I'm going to put a link in there for a discovery session about that because I talk about that in my work. And the second one is going to be the self-love practice because I know more and more this is a time for all of us, men and women, to remember to love ourselves as we go through this evolution. This is a big change that's coming. And it started now, but it's not done yet. So I don't think it's like tomorrow will be over and gone. We're just getting started. So my intention in this talk, in this, in this, <laughs> I was going to say, it's not really a, um, what's I'm looking for? Manifesto. <laughs> but it's certainly a declaration of, my, of where I stand and what I believe. So I hope it's been a valuable, a valuable, if nothing else to say, it's encouraging. Um, there aren't any tools being provided here necessarily, but I hope this has been encouraging at least to you. So with that, I thank you for watching. Um, replays, I'll, I'll give those to you as you always do. Um, homework, there isn't really any unless you want to question yourself about where you stand on this topic, if you want. But the replays for this, you can find on my business page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author. That's all of these get put on there after my personal page. Um, they go to my YouTube channel. If you're watching it there, that's where it came from. First was, YouTube, was Facebook, now it's on YouTube as well. My YouTube channel is Barry Selby. Please subscribe. And on my um, playlist of messages from the masculine, where these live, or 580 plus. And finally, on my podcast, I've got a launch, which has a bunch of these on it, which is um, messages from the masculine on iTunes. You can subscribe to the podcast and you can download the audio versions as well. So with that, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for being with me as always. I hope this has provoked some things. If you have any questions, challenges, thoughts about what I just said, shared, please put them below in the comments and I'll respond when I sign off. And I hope this has been something to provoke some thought for you. This is not meant to be a teaching as much as it's been a reminder. So with that, thank you for being here. I just see Jermaine popping in. If you have to watch the replay, I'm signing off now. I'll see you again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Join me again for another topic. We'll see what it's going to be. This one just showed up because of what happened today. Thank you for being with me, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.